This is a beautiful world. However, there are some extremely nasty pollutants out there that affect the health of the planet as well as ours. The pollutants mostly arise from human activity and are largely products of combustion from commerce and industry, as well as our homes and transport. This contributes to global warming scenarios like flooding, more intense temperatures and thunderstorms. The majority of these pollutants can be put into two categories, gases and particulates. In the past, we were mostly concerned about pollutants from homes and industry, but now we have another source to consider, pollution from road transport. It's a typical day in the historic city of Oxford. Everybody is getting on with their day-to-day -day life. But let's take a closer look at the average daily scene. Today, the majority of urban pollutants come from vehicle emissions. We can't see most of them, yet we breathe them in. But what if you could? It's more obvious now, isn't it? Doesn't that make you think differently? As well as this, air pollutants can also affect existing health conditions such as asthma and heart and lung diseases. It's not only about people's health, but also about our precious planet's life. Pollution leads to climate changes, which means more extreme weather conditions. Most urban pollution today comes from vehicles engine exhaust and mechanical wear. The gases ejected by your car are responsible for 92% of air pollution in the UK. Each city has to take steps to meet emission standards because the government has established strict laws to limit these emissions. The city has developed a long-term strategy to encourage use of public transport through its renowned park and ride sites. Oxford is the third city in the UK to employ the EU low emission zone standards. If you live in Oxford, there are many ways that have been set up to help you get around the city and pollute less, or not at all. Why not take your bike to work? Well, if it rains, there is always the alternative of the bus. Yes, the city of Oxford has introduced new eco-friendly hybrid buses. Or why not share a car with your colleagues? Carpooling is very relaxing and a cheap solution. If you really need to use a car, think about buying a smaller one or even using an electric car. The city council has provided recharge points across the city. The last 10 years, average roadside levels of pollution in central Oxford have reduced, but we still exceed the annual standards of nitrogen dioxide. We all have more to do, governments, vehicle manufacturers and ourselves. We need more sustainable, low emission forms of transport. We need to change our travel behaviours, use public transport when we can, try alternatives. If everyone contributes by making changes in their habits and behaviours, it will lead to cleaner air in Oxford, England and in the European Union, and on the planet. If you'd like any more information on how to make these changes or on Oxford's air quality program, visit oxford.gov.uk and our Twitter and YouTube pages.